Okay, here we go. We're going to do the um, Beef Wellington. Now, again, like I said, Beef Wellington in Europe is made with goose liver. It's made with goose liver pate. Now, in America, we don't make it with goose liver pate. We make it with chopped mushrooms. Uh, it's called mushroom duck cell. Now what I did was I made a mushroom uh, pate. So I'll show you that in a second. I'm just seasoning now. Ooh, I'm glad I looked at that. I'm seasoning now with um, Salt, pepper, and garlic. I almost dumped a bunch of nutmeg on there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> salt, pepper, and garlic. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that in a saute pan and sear it. Here is the mushroom pate. I made this last night and put it in the refrigerator. Uh, there is a video on it if you want to see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this in the saute pan also. All right, I think two of them will be enough. All right, let's go over there. All right, here's your puff pastry. This is, um, uh, what is this? Pepperidge Fine Puff Pastry. All right, and you, you might want to roll it a little bit. Alright, you just want to roll it just a little bit, not a whole bunch. But, you know, it's a little bit too thick coming from the store. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to lay our filet. Put two two medallions of the um, uh, mushroom pate. All right, now you just have to seal it up. Now it doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter as long as you get it sealed. Uh, here I have a uh, egg yolk and a little bit of water. It's going to act as the glue. Like I say, it doesn't matter what you do now as long as you seal it up.
Alright, we're going to cut one of these off. And we're going to fold this one under and this one under. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's ready to go into the oven. That's going to go in a hot oven. Uh, 400, 400 degrees. The steak is almost cooked. You know, you really don't have to cook the steak too much more at this point. Okay, now with this leftover dough, wait a minute. First, let's paint this. This is going to give it a real rich brown color, the egg yolks. All right, there we go. Now we're going to we're going to cut these leftover parts here. Well, there you have it. Got uh, beef Wellington, double baked potato from yesterday. The um, uh, roasted peppers and zucchini and the uh, mushroom pate is inside the beef and I'm just serving it with a little bit of uh, of um, au jus oh. oh man look at this you think it could get any better than this Ho, 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 ho. See, that's why you want a hot oven to finish it in. Because you don't want the beef to get overcooked. If you put it in too slow in, of an oven, the puff pastry will take too long and the, uh, and the beef will overcook. This way, the puff pastry is nice and done. And the... And the steak is nice, medium rare. All right, here's the uh, the little pieces of leftover dough with the strawberry jam in it. That's something you know. Rather than throw the dough away, do something with it. Oh, by the way, I got to tell you, it doesn't get any better than this right here. And I mean, I'm talking nowhere does it get better than this. Woo -hoo! See ya. I'm going to eat. <laughs>